Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about how to get record type name in LWC Common without using Apex class. Okay. So it, it looks like a very simple, but in the real time, we have using a lot of times. Okay. If you are most of most of the people are using to get the record type name using the Apex class, but without using the Apex class. In the using the wire method also we can able to get the record type name okay so i will tell you how to get this record okay so before we go into the topic if anyone need salesperson job support like a monthly or hourly uh, you can contact to this whatsapp number okay okay so now we can go to the topics so first we need to create the one lightning command so we need we can go control p sorry control shift to p create lightning web component um, we can call it as um, record type record type LWC. Um, you, you, this one is you can give any name. Now I am giving record type LWC as the LWC common name. Now this is a default one. If you want, you can choose any other things. Now you can see our LW, new LWC common was created successfully. Okay, so once it's created, we need to uh, import the fields. Okay, import. Um, actually, it will be, get some typing mistake. So I will be using this two line and I will explain. Okay, import. This is the name, record type name. You can give anything. There is no uh, restriction on this one. And But this should be from Salesforce schema account object. So now we are going to get the account object record type name. Okay. Uh, so, uh, um, so I have used account dot record type ID. This is like a field ID we need to use. If you want to get the record ID, record type ID, we need to use this one. If you want to get record type name, then we need to use this one. So I have used both these two. Okay. Uh, just simple import record type name. This one you can give anything basically. And uh, this client should be mandatory. Okay. From the schema account object and record type ID. And schema like account dot um record type dot name. So then we need to create one constant. Okay, for example, this is so. What is this mean? This is a fields. Okay, in this fields record type ID, we need to use these two fields also. We need to use here. Okay. Now what we need to do? We need to create a one wire method. We need to create. Okay, so if you want to use the wire method, we need to import the get data functionality we should do. Okay, this is the functionality for to get the record basically. Okay, lightning slash UI record UI. If we use this record, then only we can able to get the records. So then we, we need to give the record ID we need to give current record ID. Uh, for that, what we need to do, we need to use at API record ID. Okay. The record ID, I should be caps. Okay. We should take care of this one. And we need to give like this one. You can see get record. This record, get record should be give here. And record type record ID. This is the, the record ID should be uh, unique. Okay. And this is the field name. Record type ID is uh, like a current record. The record ID will be passed here. And fields, you can see these fields we have using here. In this field, we have record type ID and record type name. Those two values are we are passing here. After that, uh, we need to um, get one wire method. Um, wire method or wire record similarly we can give here what we need to give data comma error we need to give basically not so so now why okay so we need to import the at the apa annotation for that at apa now the issues got resolved if if data contains if data contains we are going to use that value so for that i will use one field i'm created created the field and in this field i'm going to map this dot record equal to data 
okay so now we have used the record data we have used to in the data we have you um, match to record feed now what we need to we need to get the record type record type name okay so record type name so this is the functionality to get the record type name so for example i am giving this one um if you want if you want to use json dot json dot stinkify the object will be converted into stink so better you need to use a json dot stinkify and this is the record okay this dot record fields okay in this record have fields record type dot value dot fields dot name dot value if we use this one we will get the record time record type name so i will show you that now i'm going to print this one console dot console dot log this dot record type dot name okay now yeah it's record type name will be print here suppose if it's error for example if error and we are going to print the error details okay yeah so now we can deploy this one to our uh, environment and let's see and also we can print this uh, value record type name into our uh, where it is this in the html file equal to record type name we have used this one and also we need to use the metadata xml file the expose should be true okay after that target targets we should give in the targets target slash lightning app page or record page similarly you can give anything now I'm going to give record home page and no, set record page actually. Okay, now use this one is fine. Let's see what the value is printing in the record type. Okay. So in the real time, if you are using, um, if you want to get the record type name, if you use this syntax, everything, you will get the record type name instead of calling the Apex class. Okay. Now I'm logging, I'm going to come into my environment. Just refreshing this one. And I'm going to need to just click edit page. Now you can search record type LWC. This is the LWC component. Okay, some error is occurred. Error during the constructor phase. Record type. Okay, just save this one and we can see what is the issues. Some record time. Record type name, everything is fine. Record, record ID, okay, fine. After that, what else? Record type is should be same. Now let's see. Uh, line number stack. Cannot read the property of record type. So instead of this one, we can able to print the console.log value the data. JSON dot stingify data. Not mm, wired, everything will be same. Let's see what the value is printing in the data. Um, now just read apply deploy to source or
click on edit page. Okay, still there is a query. Let's save this. We can open the console and let's see what is happening. So data coming as empty basically. You can see the no data is coming here. Um, that's why uh, having some issues in our code. Let's see what is the issue. Git record is fine at wired API. Hmm. So here I can see wire something uh, name is correct wrongly. That's why what we can do, we can just copy is correctly. Basically. The method name should be wire record I'm using here. Okay, then now it will be work. Um, let's see. Let's see whether it's still we are getting the exception or not. Just I'm deploying. Now I will refresh this page. Now there is no issues. Okay. Um, let's save this first now. Save. Go back. Yeah, so this record, record type name is, this is the record type name now, okay? So you can see the double quotation is available now. If you want to remove, we can able to replace that using uh, our JavaScript function. And before that, I will show you. In the data, the data will be displayed like this. If you want, you can get any data, any details, whatever the data is available here, you can able to get. This is the ID, ID of the record. You can see the uh, ID record type, IDs you can see here and last modified, last modified date and um, all other things also we can able to get whatever the details available here, we can able to get all the details. Record type ID, this is the record type ID. If you use instead of the record type, record type uh, I name, you can use the record type ID also, we can able to get this one. And uh, name also we can able to get basically. So we, are, we got the name, uh, whatever the data is displaying here, we can able to get everything. So now if you want to remove this um, double quotation, we, we need to use the replace function we need to use. For example, uh, this record type name. Okay. So this record type data replace double quotation. Okay. Quotation equal to empty. Save this. Deploy it again. Now we can go to edit and edit page. It's taking some time. Let's see now. Yeah, now we can see that double quotation is removed. So save it now. Go back. Save it one more time. Go back. Yeah, you can see it's the record type name is displayed correctly. So, so if you have any doubts, you can ping, you can uh, post in the chat. Thank you. Thanks for watching.